permanent flat rides at Alton Towers, an RMC at Fort Park. We've all speculated about unrealistic future developments, especially at our theme parks. However, one of them is likely to become a reality. Yes, today I'm talking about the return of our beloved nemesis, Subterra. In fact, it feels like an announcement is imminent. Subterra opened back in 2012 to continue the story of Nemesis. Sis, 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 sis. You went through scary hallways, you saw an egg, you dropped the egg and it cracked open. And then you went back through some more scary hallways. Sounds epic, right? And then after three whole years of operation, Nemesis Subterra closed in 2015. Never to Terra subs again. You're welcome, subs. And if you do go on to enjoy this video, please do consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you're notified. I guess we're now on the journey to 3,000 subs? Pretty cool. So looking back at when this ride was in operation, nobody liked it. However, now it's been closed down and taken away, everyone suddenly loves it. <laughs> it's not even confirmed to be coming back. But importantly for the purpose of this video, it is coming back. Maybe. Definitely. Probably. It's all a bit confusing, so I'm just going to stick to the facts. The facts are that the ride has been rumoured to be testing. Not really facts then. However, I'm pretty sure that I saw this happening for myself with my very own eyes. Plus the door was open, phalanx reps were in the area and a viewing area for Nemesis, the roller coaster, is being constructed. There is no way that that is just a viewing area. That is a queue line if I ever did see one. I'm not silly. <gasps> Unless glass bottom floor over Nemesis. Comment below if you think that'd be cool. And on top of that, we've got to talk about the 365 all year round opening that Alton Towers are planning for the resort. And the facts are that having Subterra in the lineup means that there will be another indoor attraction that will not be affected by adverse weather. Looking at you 13, a little rain never hurt anyone. Yeah, but a lot can kill you. Bit dramatic. Moreover, having another indoor ride to open during the colder months will add capacity for guests visiting over the winter months. And on the topic of rides that will function during the colder season, Alton Towers have been focusing a lot on opening indoor attractions. This has been going on since pre-COVID with the opening of the Alton Towers Dungeons. Is it called the Alton Towers Dungeons? You know what I mean. And although that's not a new attraction, more a reimagining of an old attraction, it still counts. I don't know how it just does. And since then, you've got the brand new Gangster Granny the Ride, which everyone loved for the first two hours. And that, of course, opened back in 2021. Then following that, in 2023, we, of course, have just got the opening of the Curse of Autumn Manor, which is the brilliant re-theme of Jewel, and I could go on for hours about how that ride is just a little bit better than Jewel. I'm joking, it's brilliant, don't cancel me. And then talking of things that we do not want to get cancelled, fingers crossed, not jinxing it. In the future, we do of course have Project Horizon, another indoor attraction. Wow! Which of course is going to be a huge indoor roller coaster, by far the largest in the UK, that will be opening in 2025. Right behind the world of Walliams. So there you go, if Alton Towers do continue this indoor attraction streak, then it would only make sense for them to open Subterra. That way, they've got a nice spread of indoor rides across the park. Set deck sector. It has to reopen. I'm convinced all the evidence points towards it reopening. But the next question is when? That I do not know. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like the video. Ciao, legends. Why do I keep forgetting the last bit? That was good, wasn't it? Please, sir, can we have some more? You don't have to call me, sir. But here's your link. Click it. 
So a pun a lot would sound cool though. <laughs>